So first we'll start off by introducing ourselves. I'm Mariah. I'm Mike. Hi. We're doing this because we do a lot of DIY projects. Yeah, tons. And we get a lot of questions mm -hmm. like, is it supposed to look like that? Yeah, and wouldn't it be easier just to do it like once instead of like two or three times? And it looked fine before, why did you do it? So we thought we'd take some time to answer those questions by letting you come on a journey with us while yeah. we fix our toy hauler. Absolutely, so hang Behind out, us. have fun, and you know, enjoy, enjoy the ride. <laughs> so, I guess we'll start by flipping the camera around, and I don't know how to do that. Finley, do you know how to do this? You can't yet, you okay. have to quit recording. Okay. There we go. And showing you what we're gonna fix up. This is a 38 and a half foot toy hauler that we got for nine grand, full disclosure. We will start by just, I guess we probably should turn some lights on maybe. You wanna go ahead and maybe? <laughs> so we thought of doing this after we already started tearing stuff out, um, but it was really ugly. I'll show you some before pictures. There was a dinette set and a typical jackknife sofa that was super ugly. And if you look this way, cabinets, nothing super special. It's not like it was horrible, it's just super ugly. This is the garage with some fold down queen beds here. And I'm going to slowly turn around this way. Get like a pass through view. Floor is just the typical linoleum. Going up into the bedroom here. So anyways, this is it. Nothing you haven't seen before, and we're definitely not doing anything that people have not done before. But this is something that we enjoy doing together, and it's winter, and we're bored. And this sounded like something really fun. It is fun. <laughs> so... We're gonna finish ripping out the carpet today. Hopefully the rest of that border and maybe just clean up after that. There's gotta be a way to turn this around. There's a few reasons why we like to make things our own. This is one of them. I mean, come on. I guess that's all mold, which is really gross. But anyways, this cabinet really isn't practical. There's like a shoe slot on the bottom. And then if you open the cupboard, there's just one shelf that goes all the way through. And it's just really awkward. So I think we're gonna take it out. Mike found screws. We're gonna try to get it out maybe in one piece. Um, that's the plan. So I don't know if that's doable or not, but it's not going to create a whole lot of space, but it's just really awkward. Like even if we put fold, go ahead, baby, it's fine. Even if we put folded clothes in there, they'll slide around and it's nice to have the counter space, but we're thinking we'll put like maybe a shelf in it, um, a shelf there or something, but most of all, it's just really hard to get around the beds. And the ceiling already drops down pretty low there. So maybe it'll at least just feel bigger. And maybe we'll have room for like a nightstand or something. But anyways. Could just clean it and use it as is, but it's, what year is it, babe? Watch out. Uh, 2020. Oh, it's the 2006. That was good. <laughs> Sorry. Um, My brain's on the remodel. 
2006, so it just kind of gross carpet and stuff. Can't really relax like that. This is what's in here. Oh, gross. That's not bad. Probably leave that. Wallpaper is way discolored compared to this wallpaper. Okay, so I'm gonna start cleaning the windowsills and everything while he does this. And hopefully by the end of the day, we'll have something to shop for. Okay, it's the end of day one. We're just finishing cleaning up. We took all the valances down, all the blinds, and all the little railing that was up top out of this room and then here the gross carpeted border all the blinds and all the carpet out of the bedroom and the papering oh yeah and the paper border Good call, Finley. So it's a very weird wall, but it's better than it was before. Most of all, the mold is gone. Oops, except for right there. And a lot of spider hiding places. So we just wanted to let you guys know a couple of things that really helped us. For me, taking off the border, I used just a handheld steamer and it came right off without ripping the wallpaper and without leaving like the sticky residue behind. What about for you, Finn? Every single screw in this thing has a square head. So make sure you get a square headed drill bit for your impact before you get started. Yeah, oops, sorry. And then the other thing is the drill extension. Yeah, and that's flexible. Oh. <laughs> it's a flexible one. Because to get behind all the balances, it was really hard and um, that was really important. It was. And as far as other than that, yeah. just an X-Acto knife. Patience. And Windex. Windex. And white cloth. All right, let's see Bye. you guys tomorrow.